Hello class, Mr. Stone here. The problem we have today, it's a word problem, okay? And it's a proportional type problem. It says the ratio of Jack's marbles to Jill's marbles is seven to four. Then they tell you that Jack has 28 marbles. So how many does Jill have? So here's how you do these. You gotta kind of keep everything in, you know, on the same line, okay? So we're gonna have Jack's on the top, okay? Jack's on the top. And Jill on the bottom. So it'll be Jack over Jill. Okay, so we know this equals seven to four. That's the ratio. Okay, so now they're telling you that Jack, that equals 28 over, I don't know how many Jill has. So we're going to write X for Jill. Now all you really do here is you cross multiply. Okay, just like this. Okay, you form that little butterfly thing going on. Okay, so we get seven times X is seven X equals four times 28, 112. But now we gotta get the X by itself. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, with seven times X, so the inverse of times is division. So we divide both sides by seven. Okay, so these two sevens cross each other out. So we're going to have x equals 112 divided by 7, 16. And that's it. Okay, 16. So that means Jack has 28 marbles and Jill has 16. And that's the same proportion as seven to four, okay? Um, way to check that. If you did four, if you did four times each one of these, you come four times seven is 28. Four times four is 16. So there's my check, okay? We know this is true, okay? And that's all there is to it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, help my YouTube ratings, and, um, if you have any mathematical friends, share this with them. Or they might have children or grandchildren. Um, and maybe they're covering things like this in school, proportion type problems. And they might have came across something like this and they didn't know how easy it is to solve. Okay? But thank you very much. You have a great day now. Remember, math is fun.